Hey everyone, my name is Rahul and today we're going to be talking about where you can find software engineering jobs for either internships or full-time roles. Now just to give you some kind of background before I jump into the list of the different resources that I have, a big thing that I want to tell you is it's important to start applying early. And this is really important especially if you're in college looking for either new grad roles or for internship roles. Usually recruiting season starts in around August. So if you don't have your application started up around then, you're going to start falling behind. And the farther you fall behind, the lesser your chances are going to be of getting a job. So start applying early and make sure you apply frequently. So you should be primarily looking at job postings that are maybe a week old at most and apply to those and then check that multiple times a week. Job postings usually come up earlier in the week. For example, Monday, Tuesday, those are really hot days for postings to come out. Whereas on Friday, you're not really going to get as many. So I recommend spending at least one to two days every single week going in and applying to jobs. So now, let's get into our list. The first resource that I have is Glassdoor. Glassdoor is a site that gives you all kind of company information, from job lookups to company reviews, salaries, and interview information provided by other people. If you want to look for a job, I recommend just searching up the job title. For example, software engineer. And let's say you are looking for an internship. They let you filter by job type, so that way you can filter down to just internships. Or if you're looking for full time, you can set it up just for that. That's why I really love Glassdoor. It gives you a lot of control over all these different kinds of filters that help you find the jobs that you want. On top of that, you can create job alerts as well as find information about all kinds of different things on here. And when you're looking through a job posting, you'll be able to find a lot of information. For example, salary estimate, location, possibly even get an easy apply link which allows you to apply within seconds. So I highly recommend Glassdoor because I love its interface and it's really easy to use. The second resource that I have is LinkedIn. And if you don't have a LinkedIn account right now, you should go out and sign up for one right now. Because LinkedIn is a fantastic resource for you to not only be able to put information about yourself so that recruiters can find you, but it also has an amazing job search tool, which is really underrated. It shows you a lot of great jobs available near you in a very clean interface, and it's an awesome way to search for things. On top of that, there are some roles that are exclusive to LinkedIn. For example, roles at LinkedIn itself can only be found on LinkedIn. So make sure you go ahead, create a LinkedIn account, use their job search tool, and use other features that they have on their site, like their alerts that they have for various different positions. My third resource that I have are referrals. And I think a lot of people forget about these, but referrals significantly increase your chances of getting hired. And if you look at any statistic, it's going to show you that people who get a referral are significantly more likely, sometimes two, three, or four times more likely to get a job. That's because you have someone in the company that is vouching for you that can demonstrate that they've worked with you or they know you and know that you would be a great contributor to the company. I recommend you really build your network. Network with people all the time. Now this can be as if you're in college, you really need to go out to networking events, get to know people because you never know how you can help them and how they can help you. So if you make sure to build that solid network well ahead of time, or if you're in industry, use that opportunity to build your network because you don't know where people are going to go in the future, so you want to be able to leverage that to be able to get referrals. And referrals, as we know, will increase your chances of getting a job. So our goal here is to work with people who can really vouch for you and honestly talk about what contributions you have made in their presence and how you would be able to contribute to the company that you're getting the referral at. The fourth resource is a website that's specifically for internships, and this one is called intern.supply. Intern Supply is a website that has a list of well-known companies and it shows you a link to apply to their software engineering internships when those become available or it says unavailable if they're not available at this time. I recommend you constantly check back to it to make sure you know when to apply to these jobs because they post right around when they come out. On top of that, for bigger companies, they sometimes detail some of the interview processes that you might encounter as a candidate, so it's great to be able to read up on those. But regardless, if you're going for internship job postings, this is one of the sites you have to visit. 
The only thing that I will say is that it shouldn't be your only resource because they only have the list of well-known companies, which means there's a lot of companies that are missing on that list that are still hiring for jobs. So make sure if you're still looking for an internship, check the other resources. Make sure you do your due diligence. It will really help you in the long run. The fifth thing is you want to make sure you go to career fairs. If you're in college, this is especially important. You want to go to the first academic year career fair, usually in fall, that your college offers. This is going to be your best opportunity to get software engineering new grad and internship roles because that's when companies are hiring. The main hiring season is usually between August and the end of December. And by then, most of the companies will have hired the majority of their candidates. If they have any space left, there might be a little bit left after that time frame. So you really want to maximize the amount that you're doing within that time frame. When you're going to a career fair, I recommend a few tips. There's four key things I want you to keep in mind. The first thing is you want to make sure you practice an elevator pitch. Because when you're going up to the company representative, the first thing you need to do is sell yourself. The elevator pitch is how you do that. It's a short way for you to present yourself, what you do, and what you can bring to any company. Make sure you show some personality in it, and be kind with the company representative. The second thing is that you want to do research for that company ahead of time. Because it's going to be really obvious when you're talking to them, whether you know about the company, or whether you're just looking for a job at any company that will hire you. And they really want to see that you're interested in that company specifically and what they do and being a part of their team. So do that research ahead of time, get to know those companies so that you can talk to them and have an effective conversation. The third point ties into that. If you do the research, now you can have questions that are targeted at that company's representatives that you can then ask, get more information about them, get information about their work culture, Get to know what their day-to-day -day life is and what your life would look like if you were an employee there. The fourth thing to do is to make sure your resume is readable in person. And that's really important because in a career fair, you don't just hand in a digital copy of the resume. It's a physical copy that is going to be read over in about 30 seconds. So if it's difficult to read, it's going to be a problem. Make sure it's not, it doesn't have long paragraphs. Make sure it has bullet points as well as fonts that are very easy to read. If you're looking for a guide on how to write a good resume, one of my friends, Ryan, wrote a great article on that, and I've linked that down below in the description. So check that out if you're looking for tips on it. The sixth thing you want to do is take a look at company websites. And by company websites, I mean go to their careers or jobs page. And every company almost has one or the other. The reason why I recommend this is because a lot of times either A, a company will post stuff to a job search site but you won't find it, or B, they may not post to a job search site at all, meaning this could be a way for you to find postings that you wouldn't otherwise have found. The way I recommend finding out about this is go look up companies that are in your area and then go over to their websites, go to their job search pages, and you might be able to find internships or job postings that you might not have otherwise found. So those are my six tips. I hope you really enjoyed the video. I hope it was useful. If you think it was, please leave a like down below and also subscribe if you haven't already. I'm putting out more content like this. It's all about helping you prepare, get ready, and excel in the whole software engineering process from the interviews all the way to the preparation. So we have more videos coming. Please stay tuned and see ya.